Hello and welcome. Katie here. Thanks so much for stopping by. I am back with another project for Imagine Crafts. And for today's project, I thought we would do a holiday ornament. Now, of course, you could turn this into a gift tag if you'd rather. Um, but I thought it'd be fun to create an ornament that you can keep forever and hang on your tree or give away as a gift. So I'm going to use the Brilliance ink pad set. These are pearlescent inks. Uh, if you're not familiar, I'm going to use the Shimmer Creative Medium. I've done all my die cutting, but I'm going to use the poinsettia die from Spellbinders, the woodland wreath die from Spellbinders that you can see I've got those cut out three times there. Um, that's a little village die from Cat Scrappiness. And I'm also going to use this blizzard stencil from Spellbinders with the creative medium using the squeegee from Imagine Crafts. I am just doing my spreading if you will of my creative medium and going to set that off to the side to dry so that squeegee is great by the way this is my cat stewie he's making his youtube debut now uh, i'm using a variety of memento inks we've got a lot of different products that we're using in today's video but i'm taking just a small little blender brush there um to add in some green ink. I always like to start with light and then add in the dark. So we're gonna start with, I think it's bamboo leaves. And then I'll come in with a little bit of Northern Pine. And when it comes to the dark colors, I always like to tap off. As you, you can see, I'm on my glass mat so that I can, um, I don't have such, you know, stark contrast and I can really blend that on. Now I'm using, you know, those Cricut mats. Now this one isn't Cricut brand, obviously, but I use them in my Misty and things. And so when they get a little bit less tacky, I use them to hold down delicate die cuts like this so that I can, I don't bend up the top, you know, the fronds, the leaves, the the needles for the pine leaves or the the pine needles in this case and this actually I picked up for like three bucks at Hobby Lobby this is just a silhouette mat uh, for the silhouette machines and again it's got adhesive on it um, so it's a great way to be able to keep delicate dyes adhered down while you do any type of ink blending now the first blending brush I used had some purple ink on it um, so I just went with a different um, actual makeup brush. This is like a angled kabuki brush um, that I'm using to apply my inks. And so I'm starting with the, let me see, Toffee Crunch Great Brown for your wooded, you know, elements, I guess is the best way to put it. Um, and once I get a layer of that down, I, I put as much on as I feel that I need. So really, it's a personal preference. If you don't want to do this, of course, you could die cut this out of brown cardstock, but it's always fun to break out the inks and be able to create your own. So then I come in with rich cocoa, and I do a layer. And then uh, to finish it, I'll use some espresso truffle. Um, and that gives some nice variation in color and gives us a little bit of depth to our woodland wreath, which I think is pretty cool. Now, the other thing I'm going to do is, so here I'm going to come in with the espresso truffle. The other thing is you got to do the best, well, you don't have to, but because this is an ornament and it's going to spin around, you want to do the backside. So I will flip these over and add not quite as much ink. I won't get into as much detail on the backside, um, but I will do the backside of everything as well. So that's the woodland wreath, the greenery, the poinsettia. I'll do the backside of everything. So here I'm just showing you that I flip it around and just add a light layer of every one of the colors that I used so that it matches and you don't have, you know, white on the backside except for, you know, the piece that I'll put on there to, um, you know, just acknowledge that it's was made Christmas of 2022. So now using angel pink, again, using a little strip of that um, Cricut mat, 
um, I'm adding some angel pink to my poinsettias, the leaves, and then I will come in with love letter and ladybug, and then I'll put some rhubarb stalk over that. And again, I'll do both sides. I don't show everything. I just show basically each time I've added each of the colors. So now I'm coming in with love letter. And being able to have these adhered down makes it really super quick to be able to, you know, to ink these up. And of course, have that control to be able to add the ink where you want. Um, now I'm coming in with uh, Ladybug. And that blends everything nicely together. And I just wanted something a little bit deeper. So that's why I went and added the rhubarb stalk. And the one thing I didn't keep on camera was um, I added at the very end, just to give it a little bit of shimmer, I added the Delicata Ruby ink. Um, and I just swiped the ink pad over each of the leaves. So... It just gave a little bit of shimmer. It's very subtle and, you know, you really don't even notice it that much, um, but it does add a little bit extra color. So flipping them over and I'm going to do the back sides of those. Once I'm done, I'm going to set them off. Here is our blizzard stencil that's all dry and coming in with those brilliance uh, ink pads. So we've got in this little set is uh, orchid purple, lavender, and blue sky. So I did the orchid first, is that pinky color. This is purple, of course. And these are pigment inks and they're shimmery. So they're not gonna blend quite as easily as a regular dye ink would. But that's okay, because I actually think it adds to this. And don't be surprised if you see these colors and that stencil come out again during the holiday season and even into the first of the year because I absolutely love how this little background turned out. These colors go so well together. Um, now that one was lavender and now I'm coming in with the sky blue and I just love it. I think it is so pretty um, and whimsical for, for winter. I just love it. And I really love, I'm a big fan of snowflakes in general. Uh, so dyes and stencils, I've got bunches, uh, but this stencil is really nice. I really like the the pattern that you get with it, um, even on such a small uh, die cut. Now the circles I die cut from a die in my stash, so just whatever you have. Now here I'm just adding the detail of the um, the veins and stuff to the the leaves. I don't show all of them, but um, I just wanted to show you that I do do that. And then, of course, I use the ball stylus to give the leaves some definition and some life. And I'm testing out. I have everything set off to the side to see how I want to lay this out. Uh, you can see that the little village die uh, is a slimline dot, slim die cut. So um, you have to trim that down and really that's based on where you want everything to sit. I do use some on point glue to adhere our snowflake blizzard panel onto our wreath and I do flip that over so that you know the back side of that is you know like our normal die cut and here I'm just trimming up to fit that village onto our circle die. Now some more liquid glue, some on point glue, and that'll adhere that down. Give that a second. You know, I hold that down for a minute and it will adhere fine to that creative medium. So because acid, you can't use liquid glue with acetate. So that's some of the quarter inch tarot tape. If you got eighth of an inch, that'll work too. Now, again, uh, I used the acetate because I was going to stamp on it with the stays on ink, pigment ink, but I I didn't want to cover up that background. It's so small. Once you get the wreath on there, I figured I'd just put it on the back. Um, but you also can't, again, glue that wood onto the scent, you know, that wooded wreath onto the acetate. So um, I just used some, you know, I cut a few strips of that tarot tape just so that I could adhere it around. I didn't need to put it all the way around the wreath, just in select spots. So that's all I did there and then put it together. And now I'm going to stamp the Christmas sentiment that comes from a Simon Says Stamp 
um, let me see, The Magic of Christmas. And I did that in the Delicata ink three times. And then the 2022 comes from the Honeybee Stamps Simple Alpha stamp set. And now I'm just going to put everything together. So um, I put two of the pine boughs on and then I realized I needed to cut out the hole before I started really putting everything together. So I just used my crop dial and punched a hole in it and now I can piece everything together uh, without worry that I don't have a place to put my little string and holder if you will. So um, again some on point glue and just tucking in these pine boughs to fill it in. I didn't want to do the whole wreath. I didn't think it was necessary uh, in the greenery, but you can certainly do as much as you like. And then the one thing I pull out that I haven't used before is the Pico Embellisher in Shimmer. That's this here. Now, if you have ever gotten one of these, I've seen a few comments where people said that it gets clogged check the lid, take the lid off and make sure that the seal isn't on it because there's a seal on it and I couldn't get it to come out until I realized, oh, I probably got to take the seal off. Um, so now I'm just adding, just to give a little shimmer, another thing you could do is add a little bit of glitter to this. This is like glue, you know what I mean? So while it's wet, you can throw a little glitter on there or a little bit of the like holographic embossing powder. Um, now I'm just using a paintbrush to spread this around just to give a little bit of shimmer and gloss onto um, the leaves and onto the pine bough. <coughs> Excuse me, and that finishes it up. I did the acetate too because I wanted to protect that shimmer. So this will last a long time as an ornament um, and it makes a great gift as well. But that finishes it up. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Be sure and check the description box below for links to all the products used. And thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll catch you in the next video.